on this rare outside experience walking around, we climb a little hill crest and down below we notice a few Greek fishermen repairing four small fishing boats on the picturesque bay, Fady Bay. The Apache and I are not in a hurry. I casually draw one of my nine bamboo flutes from my sequined purple velvet arrow quiver and perform a reedy, pleasant, peasant tune as we wind down the trail to the beach towards the fishermen. Mm -hmm. Delighted, um, the fishermen of offer us potent Turkish coffee using one of the turned over boats for a table. Mm. The Greeks are stunned by the flesh spilling forth from Cleopatra's bikini top. They have never seen so many freckles breathing on a bosom. No, th th that's the moment, right then, that it happened. Ultimate backwater provincial Greek island acceptance. One of the old fishermen surprises us with a bottle of Bombay dry gin. He sways the bottle hypnotically before us, placing his mysterious treasure on the boat bottom. Like a madman, he whispers, pure water. Paracalo, filosmo, we are obviously now family, like no other foreigners in the history of spuns. We get goosebumps. The ricochet rumor here and near and everywhere flying around Yalos is that Cleopatra is using the sponge seen to get pregnant. Yeah, they believe we have isolated ourselves wisely on sponge to make a sponge baby. And that Manolis <laughs> Cranatis <laughs> guy <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Manoli's guided his lovebirds to this forgotten island because there's absolutely no distraction from doing what is necessary between a man and a woman. I mean, give the kids some wiggle room to wiggle. Timeless sexual fantasia. Our multiple mutual come together orgasms flow on forever by suddenly disappearing at key moments the savvy peasant matriarchs allow us to make babies night and day because the sponge women want Cleo to get pregnant during April, not May, anything but May, because uh, 
translating sponge folk wisdom. April Falk brings Bambino luck. Donkeys made in May, sure. But donkeys, although they fuck often enough, do not conceive baby donkeys easily in May because it's just too damn hot then. And the spongers closely scrutinize the mating habits of their donkey mammalian neighbors to realize that April, not May, must be the ideal mating time before the languid hot less than fortunate donkey donging days of May bake the island bone dry again. And when testosterone engorged donkey dongs can't help it. Their donkey dongs hang down almost to the 